Okay. Hi. So what I'm going to show you is um, kind of the road craft method of steering. There's three different types of steering method that are used when you're driving the car. There's other types as well that you find people using, but I'm just going to talk about the three main ones that should be cover all the bases that you need to do. The first type, the one that you probably heard most about and struggled probably most with, is it's what's called push. Uh, sorry, pull push. The reason it's called pull push is that it starts with pull. So when it's useful for the ma for the majority of situations where you're driving around. It's useful for where you know you're negotiating junctions and roundabouts and all the kind of things that you have to do to turn the car. So let's just show you that first of all. Let's start the car then. So just going to move off. We're just in the car park around here, so we're just going to keep an eye out for the road users, but we can turn the car around as much as we want. So watch, first of all, I'm going to turn right. So pull push means start, put your hand at the top of the wheel. The hand is going to pull down the wheel, should go to the top of the wheel. So if you're turning right, it'll be the right hand that goes to the top of the wheel and pulls down. And then once it kind of gets to this position, you're going to keep the wheel, uh, you're going to keep your hand gripped to the wheel and pull it down, and then push up with the other hand. Now don't, don't do it when the car is stopped. That's called dry steering, and that'll damage the, the, the tires and, and the steering linkages. So don't do that. Practice it. Just maybe you know, if you really, if you really want to, you can practice with a, a plate, if, you know, just to get the grip, of the hang of it. Or else you can practice them um, just when you're driving around like a car park like this. Just make sure that it's safe. So, so we're just. I'm going to show you this first of all. So I'm going to pull down. I'm going to push up. I'm going to pull down, and I'm going to release. I'm going to pull down. I'm going to push up. See, the one thing that people don't really talk about. Watch this guy coming up here. A signal to go right around. He's looking at me now. That's fine. Nothing behind. Again, okay, pull down, push up, pull down, and then put your hands off the wheel. Pull down and push up. To release, what you don't want to do to release the lock is is put is is let the steering wheel go. You don't want to do that because then you're not in control. Again, pulling down, pushing up, and pulling down, and then to release, pull down, push up, and pull down. So it's it's not you know the one thing I think that people don't understand about it is how to release the lock. That's never really explained in any reference material I've I've, I've seen or found on the internet. So what, what you do is just the same. So when you have it when you have the lock applied and you're negotiating a hazard and then you want to release the lock to straighten out the wheels, your, your other hand, the opposite hand, goes to the top of the wheel and then you reverse the process. You pull down again and push up and uh, and then and pull down again until the wheels are straight again. So what else? What's the other kind of steering that we might have to do? Um, the other steering is called rotational steering, and basically what it's useful for is when you have to turn the wheel very, very quickly. It's still, you know, perfectly legitimate. It's just that it's not really used for when you're negotiating hazards and junctions and that kind of thing. So if I say if I want to reverse into the space here, what I'm going to do to get the wheel around as quickly as possible. Just do this. See, it's hand over hand, and I get to the full lock just very quickly, looking over my shoulder and the other shoulder, and then just looking again. It's hand over hand, straight up the wheel nice and quickly. Let's show you that again, turn the other way. If I just want to turn the wheel as quickly as I can, it'll be hand over hand. And then say if I just want to, again, just to put it maybe into a space forward this time, just to get the wheel as straight now. So let's get it straight, and then just putting it hand over hand. So it's, it's called rotational steering, and basically, again, you should not be letting the wheel slip through your hands. Um, you should just be always in control. Okay? So that's called rotational steering, and you can see that described in the road craft as well. And um, the final type of steering that you, you see you hear people talking about is what's called fixed input steering. That's actually quite easy to explain. That is useful for where um, you're just driving a, a take maybe a mild bend, you know, there's no real you don't need to put it you don't even you might be just put applying a quarter of a turn and all that's happening, I'll just show you it moving off, is that you leave your you leave your hands in the kind of ten to two or quarter to three position, whichever you find most comfortable, and you just move the wheel. You don't move your hands on the wheel; you just move the wheel. Let's do a little bit of that then. So I'm going to just do some fixed input steering, just moving it like that, and then moving it like that. And that's you know, I mean, obviously we're <laughs> traveling very slowly here, but it, on a bend, obviously that would be having a much more dramatic effect. So things that you don't want to do, just turn off the engine there. Things that you don't want to do when you're steering the car is um, basically either let go of the wheel. You don't want to be kind of driving along, you know, with your hands. Maybe if, if you look at, if, if you're on a bus and you're just looking in to people how to steer in the car, not that I do. Um, you, you just basically, what you see a lot of people doing is either this, just one hand on top of the wheel, you know, head cruising along. 
or else um, you know maybe on the bottom of the wheel or else even just like this you know maybe two thumbs on the bottom there's a couple of things you, you want to do when you're just holding the wheel and one of them is um is either quarter, quarter three or ten to two at a clock face position you don't want to have your thumbs hooked to the wheel that's a, that's generally a bad thing to do because if the car were to um if you were to hit something like the curb or the stone and the wheel was to jerk suddenly it could literally break your thumb so you don't really want to break your thumb so you don't do that so keep your thumbs outside the wheel put your fingers over the top and just a mild grip you don't want to be you know you see some people driving along and you can see the whites of their knuckles that suggests that you're far too tense and you just want to relax a little bit you know um, and just keep a firm but fair grip of the, of the steering wheel so either as i say either 10 to 2 or a quarter to 3 position whichever you find most comfortable um that's really it about steering